Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. Whoa, my hair is high today. Um, so welcome back to my channel for a um, empties video. That's what this is. It's an empties slash declutter video. So I'm going to be getting rid of some stuff that's old and I'm also going to be get ri getting rid of um, stuff that's empty. So this is beauty, body care stuff, mostly. So anyway, let's begin. So the first thing I'm sad to say goodbye to because I really, really loved it is this Victoria's Secret Bombshell Perfume. Such a pretty bottle, so gorgeous. I got it in a gift set. It smells so good. I definitely have to buy more of it, but it's gone and I can't just hang on to the bottle. So yeah, bye bye. I got my trusty trash can next to me. So the next thing I'm getting rid of is Cozy Sunday Morning Soft Chamomile and Bergamot from uh, Bath and Body Works. So this was good. Um, let's let me resmell. It was nice. You definitely smell the chamomile, and the chamomile has such a soothing, relaxing scent to it, um, like sleepy, in sleep inducing. So. Um, since I take my showers at night, that's not necessarily a bad thing. So, Cozy Sunday Morning, Soft Chamomile and Bergamot. Would I buy it again? Probably. Yes. It was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, then I have a creamy body wash and one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works, and that is Sea Island Cotton. This is a great scent. I always pick it up when I can, when I run out of it. Although now it got a little bit old. Now it's a little funky smelling, but it's just a, a crisp, like clean, uh, fresh air, fresh linen kind of scent. So good all purpose, clean, fresh scent. And then I used up this uh, hand soap with olive oil. This is sparkling, sparkling Alpine Woods. This I really like. This one smelled like a, a sexy man. Yeah, it did. It smells really good. It has like a spicy, manly scent to it. Does it have the notes on it? Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay. Well, anyway. So, yep. Let's see what else. Whoa, this bag of stuff is... And, and just to go to show you how long I've been collecting this stuff, I, it's, in, it's in the trick-or-treat bag. That's what I've been using to hold my empties. Anyway, uh, I, just, I don't know where to put this bag so that that's not going to work. Okay, so anyway, uh, Mango Melon Foaming Hand Soap. I think this was a good fruity one. Yeah, it was a good fruity scent, although now that it's been in the bag for a while, it's, cut, it's starting to get funky. Uh, yeah, and not in a good way. So... Mango melon. Use it soon after you get it. <laughs> um, okay. Then I have Beautiful Blue Skies. This was sort of a eh, not memorable scent. It's just a fresh, like, clean air scent. Clean air, watery scent. It's nothing special, you know. I'm sure they'll, they'll bring it back again in some form. So, yeah, it was okay. It says dewy, it's hard to read it, dewy blossoms, kiss of citrus, and sheer driftwood. So, it's okay. The bottle's really nice. The soap was blue. So it's, it's, real, it's pretty. Let's see what else we got. Aloe agave. Um don't remember what this one smelled like. This was a really, yeah, this was nice. You really smell the aloe and the, the agave. I don't, do, should I pretend to know what agave smells like? Well, it, it, it smells like I imagine agave would smell. But you definitely smell the aloe. It's really, really a nice scent. I, I can't believe I forgot. Yeah, I would get, whoa, I would get this again. Um, does it say the notes? No, because I just because it just has the little 
aloe and agave, I guess, symbols on it. So they even put, they don't need to even put words. They just put the picture. Um, let's see. Oh, I use one of my all-time favorite scents from Bath and Body Works that I love, love, love. Sheer, well, not it's not called Sheer Freesia anymore. Now it's just a Freesia. It's amazing floral scent. It's the one of the, it's the fragrance that made me fall in love with Bath and Body Works. I know I just did a rant video on them, but I said there's lots of things to love about them and lots of things not to love about them. So, this is one of the loves. Does it say it says Freesia, creamy hyacinth, and white musk? Those are the notes, and the bottle is just super pretty. Okay. Oh. Um. Should I get up to show you? I will, I will get up to show you. Oh, uh, I can't, I can't find it. Okay, I was going to try to show you something. That was a really weird get up and go thing. Okay, I wanted to show you that the, the soap pumps that they sell, um, with the little that they used to sell soap pumps with little glitter around the band they don't work in the new shower shape the new shower gel shape because they change the shape from round to this a little bit more square thing so you can't even use those things anymore not on the lotions either so this one, this one I just sprayed on my arm. I know I bought this. I don't like glitter. I don't know why I bought this. Um, this is a diamond shimmer mist. It's, it's, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm very, very sparkly. Um, I don't know if I want to get rid of this. I really just don't like it. So I'm thinking it's going to be a toss. Plus it's old. Um, so this is a Bath and Body Works obviously I've hardly used it uh, shimmer mist diamond mist champagne love and iced plum I'm gonna toss it so hard to say goodbye to certain things oh. no okay then I, I have my tea gel shampoo that I always use for uh, psoriasis you know I it, seasonal with me comes and goes I get itchy scalp um, so the tea gel um, therapeutic shampoo extra strength um, that's definitely a repurchase um, this this was okay this is clean and clear deep action cream cleanser why is my phone ringing I hate editing with this camera I should have shut my phone off okay so being that I had to stop the camera anyway this is what I was talking about. These things that are so cute that you used to be able to put on your moisturizer or your shower gel. They don't work anymore because they changed the bottles again. Now, if I would have paid full price for this instead of like 10 cents at a semi-annual sale, I would have been mad. Anyway, so let's see what else is in this bag. So we have uh, a classic Japanese cherry blossom. I love this scent. But I like it in bursts, short bursts. Like, I love it, but I can't use it all the time because then I would hate it. It's like one of those, it's sort of like the Sea Island Cotton. I love it, like the Sheer Freesia, I love it, but I, I couldn't use it all the time because I would get so sick of it so fast. And another one, you know what's really sad? Isn't it sad how we associate scents with things? I used to love white tea and ginger. It, I adored that scent, but this person that I used to work with, that I really hate um, from my old old job, um, she used to wear that scent, and because of that, it turns me off. I can't, I could never wear it again because it makes me think of her. It's so sad. Anyway, then I have this perfume which I really loved that I bought in Rite Aid. It came with a body spray. I still have the body spray. I always forget to use it. This is uh, Chantilly Eau de Vive. It's a really pretty bottle it's so good it was on sale and it's just it there's no spray there's no perfume left in this I used it to death I can't even 
but it was it's such a wonderful like feminine 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 mm, feminine scent I really loved it and uh, sad to see it go okay uh, oh then I used a thousand wishes in this travel size and like I told you guys I was disappointed in a thousand wishes because I love the wallflower and then I bought the body care I bought all the body care like the, the spray the shower gel the lotion which I gave to my mom um, the soap and it smells completely different than the wallflower the wallflower smells so floral and feminine and sweet and just amazing and then the body care smells like fruity I don't know so not buying the body care in that uh, let's see what else we got got some lavender blossom um, yeah I would pick this up again I have to be in the mood for lavender you know because lavender has can be sometimes astringent yeah I miss lavender now I want lavender soap again I don't have any I don't think I have any lavender soap in my collection I, I will have to look and get some uh, but not until Bath and Body Works reduces it to 75% off uh, anyway then I have this is my most I'm, I'm doing all of my well uh, there's some wallflower tags in there I'm doing all of my empties before I do all my declutter. Okay, so one of one of the, if not the best collection that I think Bath and Body Works ever came out with, besides the Sweet Shop, is the Sweethearts collection. Um, when I first picked these up, I really liked the um, the sexy Dahlia Rush. That was my favorite. And that one I still have here because by this point in the spray, my new favorite became Sweet Peony Dream. So I, I have to say I love them both, but this is my favorite, all time favorite, even favorite, even more of a favorite than Sheer Freesia is Sweet Peony Dream. Love, love, love. And now it's empty. And I'm not, you know what, I'm not even getting rid of the bottle because I, I just can't it has this little thing on it and okay so I have when I bought these like I said I liked this one better so I have another one of this in a giant bottle that's a shimmer mist that I haven't used yet and I have a set that came in a special box where it's the two of them so I do have more of this the two of them in a box together right and I was going to break out the Sweet Peony Dream. Because you can't save these fragrances forever and you should enjoy them, right? But I saw the same fragrance set on eBay for $75. Can you believe it? All the Sweetheart stuff is super expensive online. And it's old. Like, I don't even know if you could use that stuff anymore. Like, I'm still going to use my sprays, you know, F that. But... I mean like the creams and stuff and the shower gels could it still be good anyway yeah so okay so these are declutters because they're old and like not some of them are expired and some of them aren't so I just realized that one of my bottles of uh, sunscreen expired in November of 2016 so that's going then I have some makeup that I never use that's so old that I'm just like should I toss it I'm never gonna use it I used to love these Revlon cream eyeshadows but it's like it's been sitting on my uh, vanity forever and I never use it and I don't even know if it's good anymore and, and I still have stuff left but it's like it's so old um, tossing that I saw that um, Ms. J. Brown, who hasn't posted a video in a while, and I miss her. Come back, Ms. J. Brown. We miss you. Um, she did uh, a declutter uh, series of videos, which um, were interesting. It, it's like get rid of 10 items a day, every day for 30 days, and then you get rid of 300 items. 
that's what she did so i don't know if i'm going to do that but anyway so then i have this other revlon revlon one and i don't even know how to open this how am i not knowing how to open this ah yeah so this is this is more used up so i feel less bad about throwing this one out oh these scents that make my nose itch okay and then i got uh, this glitter eyeshadow that I haven't used in forever. Why am I keeping this? Um, I have this, these two eyeshadows, okay? I used them once, like three years ago for Halloween and never used them again. And I'm, I'm just, I don't, I'm not holding on to them because I'll never use them again because they're so thick and like just pigmented and just not for any day wear other than Halloween. So this is Color Tattoo by Eye Studio, 24 hour eyeshadow. This stuff is a bitch to take off, okay? Especially if you use a lot of it. Um, so obviously I just used it for Halloween. I did some, you know, witchy makeup. So I used the, that purple with this black this is also maybelline new york eye studio this is a black look it's all dried up and yeah so that's i'm just getting rid of that because i'll never use it again i i swear i used it that one time um then let's see i have some baby lips uh by maybelline these are so so old I just I don't even want to think about how old they are um, okay and then I have this lipstick that I had from college from my undergrad degree so this is at least 10 years old how did I keep how do I hang on to these things this was a special edition lipstick from Revlon now watch I'll throw it out and it'll be on eBay for like a thousand dollars watch okay so it's Revlon special edition. Look, the Revlon, even the word Revlon is not even on it anymore. This is Revlon limited edition pink giggles. Super lustrous lipstick. Yeah. Okay. And then I have my wallflower ones that I used. Um, so let's go through the wallflower tags. Oh, if I go this one. Okay, wallflower tags. So I have a bunch of these. Let me, you know what? Let me, let me, winter candy apple. I can't even remember what this smells like. If it had a scent. This one I really, really like. This would definitely be a repurchase. Uh, blushing pink rose petals. Really like that one. It dudded out halfway through the bulb, but it's still a really good one. A thousand wishes. I repurchased this. Oh, and I did rebuy the blushing rose petals. I did. I purchased it again. This I purchased again in in multiples. I love this. It's my favorite wallflower, best ever. Vanilla Bean Noel. It smelled like vanilla. I mean, would I buy it again? Sure, if it was on sale. It's a good vanilla scent. Um, then I have three of these, and these. I just, I bought so many of them because they were on sale, I think during the last SAS or whatever. Um, I used up three cinnamon and clove buds. Totally not season appropriate. Um, definitely got sick of this scent. Uh, I don't think I'll be repurchasing it anytime soon. And this one I really, really liked. Uh, very vanilla bean. It kind of reminded me of like a vanilla ice cream with like a berry swirl. So, yeah. So those are all of my empties slash uh, declutter for the last few months, this month and other months. Um, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. No, comment, like, subscribe. I'm losing track of myself. Okay, just do all of those things. It doesn't matter what order. And until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.